Hey there, I'm Keenan, and this is the Clear English Corner. Well, it's February, the month of love, right? With Valentine's Day right around the corner, you may have romance on your mind. So I thought this would be a great time to learn some common phrases and idioms about love. Sound like a plan? Let's dive in. Number one, my one and only. You can use this phrase to talk about your one lifelong love. I've finally found my one and only. Darlin, you're my one and only. Number two, falling head over heels. This is to experience sudden, absolute, deep love for someone. He's fallen head over heels for her. I'm totally head over heels about him. Number three, to be smitten. This means to think about someone all the time, to be kind of obsessed. He's completely smitten with his new girlfriend. Number four, to take my breath away. This means that you're so in love or taken with someone that it feels physically hard to breathe, like that tightening in your chest. Seeing you in that dress takes my breath away. The first time I saw her, she absolutely took my breath away. Number five, to be lovey-dovey. This means to make excessive displays of affection in front of other people. For example, kids don't usually like it when their parents are all lovey-dovey in front of them. Why do you have to be so lovey-dovey all the time? Number six, puppy love. This phrase is used to refer to temporary infatuation, usually between young people, kids. Don't worry, it's just puppy love. Number seven, a match made in heaven. This is a phrase you can use about a relationship that's destined to succeed. Those two are a match made in heaven. Number eight, the apple of my eye. This expression is used to convey a warm love, like a parent or a grandparent might feel for a child. Her granddaughter is the apple of her eye. Number nine, my better half or my other half. This is a phrase that's used to refer to your life partner or your spouse. If you're at a party making introductions, you might say, let me introduce you to my better half. Number 10, to have a crush on someone. This means to be attracted to someone strongly without really knowing them deeply. And it's a term that's used a lot among kids and young people. I have a crush on Billy. I had lots of different crushes in high school and middle school. Number 11, to go out with. This means to be in a relationship with someone. How long have you two been going out? We've been going out for a year and I still haven't met his family. Number 12, to dump or be dumped. This means your relationship has ended. It's been discarded carelessly without much consideration of people's feelings. I distinctly remember the first time I got dumped. It was in eighth grade, it was at the school fair, he had his little friend tell me that he didn't like me anymore. I can remember crying to my mom about it. It's no fun to get dumped. Number 13, to pop the question. This means to ask someone to get married. When are you going to pop the question? I'm finally ready to pop the question. Number 14, to tie the knot. This is the act of actually getting married. We're going to tie the knot in September. When are you finally going to settle down and tie the knot? Number 15, on the rocks. This means that your relationship is experiencing some problems. We're kind of on the rocks right now. Or you might hear someone describe things as a bit rocky. Things are a bit rocky at the moment. Number 16, to break up or split up. This means to end a relationship, usually with a bit more consideration than dumping. We broke up on Friday. We've decided to split up. Number 17, a blind date. 
This is when you go out with someone that you've never actually seen or met before. There's a lot of blind dates in this day of internet dating. I guess technically you might have seen the person in a picture before, but you've never met. I had some blind dates back in the day. None of them really ever amounted to anything. And I ended up marrying someone I've known basically my whole life. Number 18, a double date. This is when two couples go out together. How about a double date next Friday? We're going to try that new restaurant this Friday. Want a double? You'll also hear that phrase, want a double, meaning do you guys want to go out with us to the, to the restaurant, to the place? <laughs> Number 19, to kiss and make up. This means to make peace after an argument. Can't we just kiss and make up? And number 20, to hit it off. This means to immediately get along well with someone. We hit it off right away. We didn't exactly hit it off. So there you have it. 20 common idioms and expressions about love. I hope you found the lesson entertaining and helpful. Come on over to the Clear English Corner blog for a list of all the expressions and practice sentences used in this lesson, as well as tons of other free practice resources. As always, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.